Alright everybody, what is going on? Whoa! Look at this haircut, I literally, I can't do anything about it guys, I'm sorry. I just, maybe I can go like this. No, and then it comes, no, 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 we really can't do nothing about it. So anyways guys, look, we're back. I've taken a small break, we're back for the, uh, the, the rest of the top 100. Well, not the rest, but the rest of the first half of the top 100. We're going to go 53, 52, and 51 today. The next video, we're going to start at 50. I really enjoy these videos. So you know what? With all the requests, I had to continue it. I just had to. There's no other way. So with that said, I'm going to get the screen recorder going. And we're going to look at Aqib Talib, cornerback for the Broncos. Now, the only thing I, I, I know about Aqib Talib is that he snatched that guy's chain. I can't remember what his name was, but he snatched the chain. And, um, but lo and behold, you know, after the game, I actually watched an interview of this guy talking about why he did it. And it sort of made me think, you know what, maybe you weren't in the wrong so much. Maybe, maybe he kind of deserved it. Maybe, maybe it wasn't that bad. But um, we'll see. I'm sure we will. <laughs> Let's watch. How did I know that was gonna happen? Oh, you dropped places, bro. Uh, definitely top three. I'll put him up there. Him, Casey, Jalen, and Pat Peters is probably my top guys. The thing about Akeem that I really think separates him is his competitive nature. No missed tackle! Not on Eli! Let's go! Being a smaller receiver going against Talib is obviously tough because he has long arms. It's always business. It's always competing, trying to outdo each other. Be in focus, focus, focus. Be sharp, baby. There ain't no buddy buddy until after the game. Akeem Talib oh. at Michael Crabtree. Fuck, bro. I didn't see that punch. I haven't seen that punch focus, before. Focus, focus, be sharp, baby. There ain't no buddy buddy until after the game. Everybody hated him. He used to say he was dirty. He was this, he was that. But he brought that swagger that you wanted to see. He was this. I ain't seen this punch. This one, right? Boom! Fuck, he's lucky he didn't connect that, man. Jesus. Fuck, that would have been a... Everybody hated him. He used to say he was dirty. He was this, he was that. But a key to leave. He that swagger that you wanted to see. He's an OG. He's been doing that for a while. As a 10th year cornerback, 10th year, who perennially ranks on the top 100, teams usually don't throw a key to leave's way. Oh, His pick six. His pick six is ranked fourth on the all time list. How much? 10. His 10 career pick, ten career pick six is sixes far out. On the all time list. He's only two behind the all time record leader, the great Rob Woodson, who had 12. What does Man. he do really well? Everything. It's crazy. He's one of the smartest corners in football. He's been oh, amazing. man. He knows the routes. He knows the techniques. And he knows how to play it. Underneath, swatted away by Aqib Talib. The leverage that he played with, you know, he played with the outside technique. Forcing everything inside, so it's hard to beat him on the outside. Mm. Talib with really tight coverage on that throw. Outbreaking stuff, outbreaking routes going to number three, so I'm going to be hard outside. If 24 in the game, then we're going to lock y'all on him. Y'all strap him all day. I love watching a kid today play quarterback. He's so smart. He reads the three step and then he makes a physical tackle to get the ball out. Let's Solid. have a nice and neat day, man. Nice and neat technique. Hey, nice and neat tackles, man. For years, Talib has partnered with the 86th ranked player, Chris Harris Jr., to form arguably the NFL's best cornerback tandem. You feel me? Big time. That's what the f we do. After being traded to the Rams, Talib will now line up across from the 79th ranked player, former Chief Marcus Peters. It won't be my first time changing teams. I'm a social butterfly, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> it seems like wherever he's going to be in the number one corner and top 100. Hey, it wasn't good enough, it was ugly. But we'll take it, though. I'm 
a big fan of Top 100, man. I always tune in every week. It means a lot being voted on by your peers, having your name in their mouth when you talk about Top 100, man. That's a specialist guy, so that's an honor. Hell yeah, man. All right, Akib. All right, man. That didn't really show me too much about you, but you're all right, mate. You're all right. Anyways, guys, this next guy, Jarvis Landry. Believe it or not, I'd seen him for the first time when I watched the first episode of, of um, Hard Knocks for 2018 with the Browns. Jarvis Landry got traded from the Dolphins to the Browns last year, or so I believe. And he likes to say, bless him. So I'm assuming we're going to hear, bless him. <laughs> a fair few times. Let's look at Jarvis Landry. He took the most catches, the most receivers. He took the most receptions last year, or so I'm led to believe. Which is pretty crazy, man. Took the most catches in the league. We've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. No, it's obviously a Landry game. We've got to do a good job on him. Not going to get thrown over our head. Moore. He's got his man. It's caught by Landry across the 45 to Landry. Yeah, Landry. Where is he? Nice grab. Jarvis Landry. They're doubling Landry, yeah. Landry. <laughs> All right, Moore. Bill. Caught by Landry. Yeah, right now, it's all Landry. Let's make sure we get Landry. We'll take our chances on the back. Yeah, righto. Righto, Bill Belichick. You, tr you can try, mate. You can try. When you're the focus of a Bill Belichick game plan, you belong on the top 100. Hell yeah, you do. He gets the ball a lot. So he's in the backfield. He's in the slot. More in the slot than outside, but he'll be outside. Oh, he's good tight. Some packages. They're creative in the ways of getting the ball. Where you going? You gotta know where he is, that's for sure. Jarvis Landry has more receptions in his first four seasons than any player in NFL history. Thanks in large part to his freakish hands. Mm. His hands are, he wears like a 3 4 his gloves, so his hands are, are massive, man. When I put my hand to him, it's like, his hand is like this on mine, and he's like 5'11, like you know what I mean? So it's just real freakish. That is freakish. He catches one hand. Better than I can catch two hand, and most people can catch two hand. That's sick, man. Yeah, Landry, bless him. Bless him. Behind me. Bless him. Too high. My ability to catch the ball one hand or two hands. Oh, that's so, so nice. High. We call it catch radius. The bigger your catch radius is, the more likely you have a chance of catching the ball. I like to think I have a big catch radius. That oh yeah. My game special. What also makes Landry's game special is his run blocking. Oh, look at that! Outside zone plays coming in, you know, cracking on his ball, knees. Safety, who's obviously usually bigger than him, but he's very fearless in that manner, going across the middle of the field. Jarvis Landry had an unbelievable block to kick that thing. That's wide. it. That's it. Ah, that's nice. What does it mean for you as a player nice. to be voted into the top 100? Oh, piss um, off, would you? A lot. Fuck. I have an opportunity to. You know, be recognized. I think it's what 1,600 guys to be recognized as 100 of the best guys that a league group is saying a lot. Jarvis Landry makes it look easy. Awesome, man! Can't wait to see how he how he goes for the Browns. I really can't. I hope that. I hope that. Well, actually, I think um, what's his name? Uh, Mayfield, Baker Mayfield's actually not going to start. Or is he going to start? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out by the end of Hard Knocks. Anyways, guys, you know what? I can't stand looking at my hair anymore, so I'm going to put a hat on, alright? Stay there. It's just too much. It's too much to handle, man. <laughs> what about if I go like that? <laughs> hey, dude. What up? No, really. <laughs> Imagine if I just started walking around like that. Oh my god. What about this? Oh yeah! <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Case Keenum, another quarterback for the Broncos. Sweet. I think he's now. It's 
Oh, big boy. How big is he? Case Keenum. There he is. Play on a reel as your resume play from this year. What do you think you'd choose? Hmm. It's hard to say. Hopefully, it's uh, hopefully it hadn't been hadn't been uh, played yet. Hopefully, it's hopefully it's coming up in December, or January, or maybe February. So. Ten seconds to go. 24-23 Saints. Vikings at their own 39. It's third down. Every time I'm looking at the ball, I'm I'm thinking right. So that's a proper NFL ball, and I'm looking at it, and it's fuck it. It is leather, right? I'm just wondering how much heavier is that? Because it looks solid, man. It looks really solid. Case on a deep drop. Steps up in the pocket. He'll fire to the right side. Off by Diggs. Oh, it got loose. Touchdown! That play was when, what's his name, grabbed it at the end, the receiver. It was meant to be an out route, but he grabbed it and stayed in and went all the way to the end zone. I'm not sure what his name is. Is this real life? Is this real life? <laughs> Maybe I'll see him. Yes, Case Keenum, this is real life. That guy. Welcome to your first appearance on the NFL Top 100 Countdown. No, not that one. <laughs> not a surprise to me. I played Linval. Every time he came to East Carolina, he made plays, man. Keenum ranks first all time in NCAA total passing yards, but has been a journeyman in the league since 2012. It was his time. Hmm. You know, uh, he, he bounced around a little bit. I had a chance to play against him when he was with the Texans. You saw flashes. Yeah, that just goes to show that. You know, personnel department all, isn't all that is a know, massive you know, pass, man. Just a second chance. You know, it's just a matter of time of when and where, and uh, he, he's proven that right now. Keenum will continue with second chance in Denver this season, and this Texas tough quarterback is prepared to handle anything that is thrown at him, even shoveling his own sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, this dude, he's he's tough. Like I think his toughness is highly underrated. He will sit there and take a shot like you can become a full steam and put your shoulders right in his rib cage. He will take that shot and still throw the ball. You know, the thing I like the most about Case is he's got big balls. You know, he's not afraid. Hey, That's he's great. Not, he's not afraid. He's going to pull the trigger and he's going to play like that. That's fantastic. Out of the shotgun, back to pass, facing a blitz, fires right. So he's in the top six quarterbacks oh, last year. Kyle Rudolph, touchdown! Yeah! A guy like uh, Kyle, you just have to, you know, put it in the in the general area. I knew I'd have to hold on to it a little bit longer with the pressure they're bringing, but uh, just giving that guy a chance, and uh, he made a big play. Case Keenum hung in there tight. The Lions had blitzed. There was a guy unblocked coming to his face. He held that ball as long as he could to let Rudolph make that move on the linebacker deep in the corner of the end zone and deliver. Give it to me! Perfectly. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks almost good enough to catch, guys. Seriously. Playing out of his mind. Boom! All right, man. That's another one done. We're doing it, man. The next one, Deshaun Watson, quarterback for the Texans. We've got a few quarterbacks actually. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, well I actually know that number one is um, Tom Brady, so he's a quarterback, but I'm thinking there probably won't be too many more quarterbacks, I don't know, there is 32 in, in, um, in the, uh, the whole league though, who knows, I really have no idea, this is probably going to be similar to fantasy, you know the best, the players that go first in fantasy football are going to be sort of the players that, you know, get in the top 20 or 30, because of the fact that I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you have liked it, if you have liked this video, you've liked the series so far, you want to support me, please hit like. I'm going to take this ridiculous hat off. So if you do want to stick around, watch some more, 
or at least be notified when I do put up a video, please hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys back here for another one very soon. Peace out, guys.